I appreciate you doing this, Joe. We know she's here. Colditz Castle, right across the other side of the city. It's too bad for Leipzig. We don't have time to go around. Indeed. The clock's our worst enemy now. But are you sure you can do this? I got as much reason as you to find out who's behind this. Yeah. Let's roll. Hello and welcome to Ruse for the PC. Now, I love my military games and I also love RTS games. And, do you know, this one, it was on my radar when it first came out, but I never got into it. And, do you know, I don't really know why. I think the advertising of it didn't quite describe what type of game it was. And that's probably why I didn't get it. But uh, I currently saw this on G2A, G2A site for £11, including both DLC packs. And I think it was about £19 on Steam, so you do save yourself quite a bit of money, and they will send it to you as a gift. It's easy, easy to then put the key in Steam. So what is Ruse? Well, Ruse is a little bit... It's a cross between... If you found the Airland Battle, orders, um, that game was a little bit too complicated with the micromanagement, which I found there was just too many units, too zoomed out, never got to see any of the action. Forward. And Straight also ahead. if you think that, um, is it Men at War? Um, I found that too much micromanaging, too faffy, I just wanted to get in and play and enjoy the actual strategy of it. Then Ruse is probably going to be a game for you, it's a little bit slower paced. Uh, but it still covers the RTS tactics in a military RTS game. And what you can see on screen at the minute is me just going through the basic, basic tutorial just to get us into it. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same as other RTS games that you've played. And we can even zoom out and look at the entire table. Now, this might look a little bit complicated. Honestly, it's not. Sir, the Pershings are waiting for orders. Now, initially when I got this game live and activated on Steam, I couldn't get General, it to play. Every to time I clicked the river, launch, the it would come up with this crash error. And I thought, oh, here we go again. An oldish game, problems to it. But no, all it was was you just needed to go to the launcher file, click properties, right-click on properties, and set it to compatibility mode with Windows XP Pack 3. As soon as I did that, absolutely fine. No bother whatsoever. Now, as I mentioned, I got a little bit fed up with Airland Battle. Too many micromanaging. Um, but this one... The, you've still got... It does feel like the predecessor to that game, which it actually is. But there's quite a lot of units, as this is just a tutorial. We're not really seeing much in action here. It's just basically holding your hand as you get through. But again, there's still a little bit of strategy. I can pick these and move them further up. And I can right click on units and it'll tell me the chances of me actually killing that vehicle. So it's simple in, in that terms, but there's still quite a heavy amount of strategy involved in this. What I may be doing in the next video is I might actually go through the campaign um, and then it'll give you an idea of what's involved and whether this game really is for you. There are still a lot of multiplayer games. I haven't had a quick look around on the forums and put them post. So there are about 750 games still available on a night time. So the game still has got a lot of life with it currently. Now, as I mentioned, I bought this on Steam, and the two DLC packs were. Is it the Israeli forces and also the Japanese, which is the reason why I bought it. Now, just to give you a little bit of a warning, on Steam it actually mentions that there are three new campaigns for the Japanese and the new forces. This isn't true at all. What you actually get with the new DLC is the ability to play as the Japanese and the other team in single player and multiplayer. There is no actual campaign, which is a real shame because it was what I was looking for. Now, I do know in here there are scenarios, real life scenarios, such as D Day, uh, Battle of the Bulge, and other ones. So, if you wanted to get into real military maps, get into a little bit of strategic gameplay, then you've got the opportunity with Ruse. Now, graphics wise, I'm really quite impressed. You may think some of these little tanks and vehicles on screen now look a little bit cartoony but as you zoom out of the map they actually get larger so you can see where your units are 
and if you zoom in, yeah, actually quite nicely detailed. The environment looks really nice as well. I'm really quite impressed with it. Um, the effects on explosions and the flat guns and everything else really does make this feel quite a visual experience. Sound effects are not too bad. I wouldn't say they were uber amazing, but they certainly get the job done. This has really just been a quick preview of Ruse. There are other things that I shall mention that make this game stand out over other games. But if you're wanting a little bit of a slow pace, slightly a little bit more user friendly, dare I say it slightly, than Company of Heroes, and if you find that the micromanagement of Men at War and uh, the other games are just too much hassle for you when you're having to deal with individual units, then this game can be as fast paced as you want it to be, really. And as I said, a lot of people class this as one of the best RTS made. So, if you fancy a game and you want to get in and try some co op with me or some multiplayer, I'm a complete noob at this game. Um, so, go, jump in and let's have a game together. I just want to mention before I jump off as well, you may notice that when I select some units, I get a blue bar or a bruce, blue circle that surrounds my units. That's actually their line of sight. So you can actually put certain vehicles into forests and things like that and ambush them as you can see. That's my line of sight so I can't see beyond that city. So it really is the predecessor to Airland Battle. And so far I'm really enjoying it. And in the next video I shall be doing some of the campaign but I may go a little bit further in than say the second mission so that it's not too noobish for you. And you actually get to see some of the other units being used throughout the game. But in the meantime... I've been Para and this has been Ruse, an RTS war simulator, and I love it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Brilliant work, Joe. Here we are. Now let's see if we were fast enough. It's our last chance to discover Prometheus's identity. That bastard cost us a lot of good men.